I love status ailments. I love using them in a supportive manner like paralysis or sleep. I also love using them in a DPS manner like poison or blast. Today I wanted to talk about the Camellios blessing and not only why I like it and where I'll practically use it, but also why I thoroughly like what they're doing with the set bonuses in Rise. Is the blessing of our elder god Camellios good for taking down Kashala? Yes, it definitely is for many reasons that we'll go over later, but there's also a lot to like about it and even some pretty good situations to take advantage of it for. Let's go over Camellios Blessing. First off, let's go with the levels and benefits of each level and why I love the order that they actually put these in. The first level will see you sometimes get an increased effect when you pick up Spirit Birds, which is an awesome homage to the Rise iteration of Camellios since he likes to steal your Spirit Birds now instead of your items. This will definitely be more effective for those that like to venture out and find the most optimal upgrade paths, collecting every Spirit Bird they can but when you get the minor and major reduction, you definitely won't have to worry about any kind of wind pressure outside of Kushala's Black Aura. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of random wind pressure knockback type moves thrown in there, like Anjanath's Tail Swing, or plenty of movements from Rathalos, so you'll still see some benefit in fights from having wind pressure being reduced. Now, once we get to level 3, that's where the fun really starts. Now, when it says in the description, oh, yeah, it also extends the duration of your poison, it sounds like it's thrown in there for the hell of it. But I'm here to tell you that it literally doubles the number of poison ticks you get, doubling the damage you're going to be doing with those afflictions. Yes, it literally doubles it. Now, there's an obvious situation that makes this sound really good for duration reasons, let alone the extra damage, but more on that later. There's a few examples that I've already tried using this set with and loved the results. The first example was actually a monster that had caught a lot of people by surprise, Toby Kadachi. Don't get me wrong, I'm by no means saying he's impossible to beat, but he definitely got a much deserved improvement in Rise. He's high-flying, mobile, and even has an insta-stun now, so getting in some cheeky damage is never bad at all. You're going to get an awesome 50 ticks of poison damage, and with each tick you're doing 14 damage. That totals to 700 with each application. Not a bad bit of damage for a quick and easy application of poison, especially with a monster like Toby, who has a lower initial resistance and thresholds. Pairing the Camellio set with his weapons make applying poison an absolute joke, honestly. They already start with solid poison, but the set easily gives you poison attack 3 to really push the envelope. Another monster that I saw potential in using this with is Rachna Kadaki. Now, not for the same reasons as Toby, and not across the board for all weapons, mainly the gunner weapons. Her hit zones are pretty booty for the bow guns, so being able to have consistent damage of any kind is surely welcome. If you have a gun you like and it has some poison potential, why not throw on like three pieces of the set and get some decent secondary damage? Around 30 ticks of poison for her while you try to snipe her beautiful pelican spider head. Now, I'm definitely not saying that this is the most optimal way to go about going against Rachna, but if you have it, why not use it? This is probably my favorite monster to use this set on. You not only get an obscene amount of poison ticks for damage, but it ends up totaling to a solid amount altogether. I'm not kidding that when you throw some poison on baby Basarios, it will take 70, yes, 70 ticks of poison damage. That's 980 damage from a single application. And for a similar reason as Rachna, really, really bad hit zones for Basarios. I know that it's definitely less of a problem now that he has that heating mechanic, but that still means the specific part has to be heated for the better hit zones to show their face. Plus, why not take advantage of that awesome dot damage you can get on a monster that seems to be ironically easy to apply poison to? I know they've made the fight a bit less annoying, but I'm still definitely going to be taking a poison weapon along with me if I ever find a reason to go for Basarius tears. Now this isn't the end all be all when it comes to poison, believe me it's not going to be the most meta or most used in speedruns, but it's for sure viable and a fun way to play seeing those numbers pop up consistently while you're dodging and placing precise strikes. There's definitely monsters that you're not really going to see much of a benefit from having Camellio's Blessing, Rajong being one of them. Even with the extended poison duration, you're going to get about 40 ticks of poison, which ends up being 560 damage, and while that ain't bad for some background damage, Rajong couldn't have better hit zones if he tried, and even has some ice sprinkled in there for you to beat him up with. Do some experimenting and see where some extended poison damage might help you. Don't just go by the star ratings. Basarios is somehow a one star monster and takes obscene poison damage and builds it extremely easy. Now we get to the obviously best situation to use this set for, Kushala Deora. I know that Kushala's wind aura can be very annoying, especially when he gets into his black wind state. The beautiful thing about the Camellio set, and I have to say I love how they did this with the three elders, 
is how it literally is built as an anti kushala set. It almost makes me feel like I'm playing some old school Mega Man and taking out Elect Man, then using Elect Man's weapon to take out Iceman, and then taking Iceman's weapon to take out Fireman. Now, as far as using this set against Kushala, you're gonna be good at level 3, or you can be 100% secure if you go with level 4. The poison, while active, is going to suppress Kushala's wind aura one level, so that means you can negate it altogether, or you can take it down a notch from the black aura. Not only are you going to save yourself from having to deal with the aura around him, but in his later state, the black aura, his tornadoes, go absolutely insane. They're numerous, and they're huge. Kushala is another one of those one-star monsters that doesn't really seem to react to the poison ailment like a one-star. Because just like our other one-star example, Vasarios, Kushala is going to take a solid 70 ticks of poison damage. Now, remember that's 980 damage per application. Like I said previously, it's not even just the damage that is nice. The biggest thing is those 70 ticks are going to give you quite a bit of time for you or your group to go ham on Kushala and be free to play more aggressively. Now, don't get me wrong. We're definitely dealing with a much less annoying and much better fight in terms of the Rise iteration of Kushala. But in saying that, you still absolutely need to stay on your toes or you could get wiped out with plenty of 1-2 combos or juggles after his tornadoes bounce you up. If you're already having troubles with that, slap on the Camellios armor, get its blessing, and show Iceman what's up. But that's gonna be it for this one. I love how they're doing the set bonus stuff in Rise and can't wait to see what other blessings we'll be able to take advantage of. If you liked the video, feel free to let me know with that thumbs up. Comment down below what you think about the blessing systems, and if you're a poison expert, feel free to let the people know anything I might have missed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Monster Hunter and Rise content, streams, reviews, guides, and more. Have a good night, happy hunting, and I will see you guys in the next video.